Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this general problem, we're trying to figure out how long it takes for a motor neuron signal to transfer to your hand from your brain. So to do that, we have to figure out how far of a distance that is. And to do that, we're actually just going to estimate. And we're, I'm going to use the same estimation that the book used, which is one meter. So one meter is our delta x from the brain down to your hand. The formula that we'll be using, of course, is the velocity formula, which is the change in a distance over the change in time. We want to figure out how long it takes, so how much time. So to do that, let's isolate t. So we'll move that over here, delta t, come up this way. So delta x is equal to velocity times and change in time. And now we'll divide both sides of the equation by V, by V. And so we get the final equation is the change in time is equal to the change in the distance divided by the velocity. So now that we have our formula, all that's left is just to plug in our values. They tell us that the velocity of the signal is 25 meters per second. And we just estimated the distance, the delta x, of course, which I already wrote up on the top as one meter. So the delta t will be equal to one meter divided by 25 meters per second. And so whenever you have a unit, we're dividing by a fraction, so we are multiplying by the reciprocal. We have seconds over meters, so the meters cancel, and we're left with seconds, which is what we're looking for. So we have one meter divided by 25 meters per second, which gives us 0 0.04, 0 0.04 seconds. So since this is in seconds, we want to put it in milliseconds the way the question asks. So to do that, we'll move the decimal place over three. So one, two, three. So that gives us 40 milliseconds, or written a different way, we have 40 times 10 to the three seconds, but 40 milliseconds is the answer.